Hey everyone, Scott here, and welcome to Delta Airlines flight number 2288 from JFK to San Diego. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, I don't have an intro for this video, so we're just going to jump right into it with this amazing looking sky priority check-in area here in Terminal 4 at JFK. If you're flying Delta 1 and you've got a lot of bags to check, it's totally worth using that dedicated check-in area because it's going to get you out into the main terminal and into this ginormous Camden Food Company in no time at all. Anyone care for a health witch? The answer to that is always yes, by the way. However, if you're flying Delta 1 out of JFK, it would be an absolute sin not to hang out in the Sky Club here in Terminal 4. That's where I chose to have breakfast this morning. Sorry, Camden Food Company. It was hard not to feel a little bit restless after eating breakfast, and I couldn't resist the urge to go downstairs and check on my flight home to San Diego. It looks like I'm just a little bit early, but that's alright. This is JFK after all, and plane spotting's always tons of fun here. If you like Delta, that is. I'll be the first to admit that Delta One is a fantastically consistent product, but I really hate these full-size blankets and pillows that they give you because there's no place to put them. There are no storage compartments in these seats, and the footwells are far too small to contain a full-size blanket or pillow. However, it still didn't stop me from trying to cram them in there as tightly as I could, but they still kept falling down on my feet. Breakfast menus were handed out while still on the ground here, and you should also note that you can pre-select a meal choice online before the flight, which is what I did. Unfortunately, there are no health witches on the menu this morning, but that's alright, because that rice pudding looks pretty darn good. Oh, and ice water to go with it, please. Next up was a full-size Tumi amenity kit, which unfortunately wasn't gender-specific like what you get on JetBlue Mint. These noise-canceling headphones totally rocked, though. I give up on these pillows and blankets. To comply with the posted placards and lighted information. One of its tampering with, disabling, or destroying a restaurant smoke detector. There are eight exits on this plane. Eight doors, four on each. Congestion here at JFK can be pretty gnarly at times, and this morning was no exception. It's not that bad if you got a window seat, though, so let's just sit back, relax, and count the airplanes ahead of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, we're still going. Uh, pfft. okay, yeah, that was too fast and I, I totally lost count. It's okay though, because it's our turn for 31 left now, and before I shut up, I just want to give you a heads up that there's an amazing view of New York City coming up as we climb out and make the big left hand turn west, so enjoy it.
Tasty Bowl, a warm nut, kicked off the meal service about 20 minutes after departure, followed up very quickly by the main entree. If I'm being perfectly honest, it was just alright. Now, don't get me wrong, the quality was excellent. It just didn't match up to what I imagined rice pudding to be. What is rice pudding anyway? I should have had a health wish. Ouch. I wasn't planning on sleeping on this flight at all, but they look really comfortable and I need to do something with my pillow and blanket. I'm still of the opinion that a full-size blanket and pillow on a transcon flight like this is a bit unnecessary. However, it didn't take that long to get comfortable and, oh yeah, a little bit lower there. A little bit lower. Ah, that's nice. Good night. Okay, I fully take back what I was saying about how obnoxious full-size blankets and pillows are on a flight like this. That was some of the best sleep I've ever had on a flight, and at that point, I didn't even care that the blanket and pillow were falling down on my feet anymore.